So many of us have intuition about the ha how the world works, and that intuition is often wrong because we base it on our experience. And the world we're going into, we're going to see the intuition being even more wrong than we've had in the past. And the reason is that we are seeing four disruptive forces hitting the global economy. Now, any one of these disruptive forces would be larger than all the economic forces we've seen over the last 2,000 years. And we're seeing four of them hitting the global economy at the same time. These forces are larger than the impact of all the wars we've had over the last century, and we had quite a lot of wars. Larger than the internet. Larger, I think, than the plow and the wheel, though I have to admit I failed to get my McKinsey Global Institute academic advisors to yet sign off on my plow and wheel analysis. But we have these four forces. The first one is the urbanization that's going on in emerging markets. Now, some of you can tell I'm British. We were one of the first countries to do an industrial revolution. And that industrial revolution underpinned the growth of the British Empire. It was an economic empire more than a military empire. Huge benefit from having the industrial revolution first. But our industrial revolution was relatively slow. It took us 150 years to double GDP per capita. And we started with 10 million people. The industrial revolution that's now going on in emerging markets is doing that in 15 years, so 10 times as fast, and they're doing it with 3 billion people. So we're seeing a force that the British Industrial Revolution, but 10 times as fast, 300 times the scale. A force that's 3,000 times the size of the British Industrial Revolution. That force is, you know, one of the biggest forces, but we have three others. The second force we're all more, maybe a bit more familiar with, and that's aging. But the numbers, again, are stark. 1970s, about 15% of the global population were above 60. By 2050, that's going to be 35%. Huge shift in that. I'm not going to spend as much time on that force. The third force is technology. Again, you know, technology has been disrupting the global economy since the introduction of the printing press, or maybe even earlier. What we're seeing, though, is a different speed and scale. It took 500 years from the first printing press to the first computer printer, but only 30 years from the first computer printer to the first 3D printer. 500 years, 30 years. But it's also happening at a different scale. Radio took 38 years to reach 50 million people as an audience. Radio, 38 years. Twitter, nine months. Different speed and scale. And the final disruptive force is the fact that we're connecting things in a way that we're not used to connecting. Now, do we have any Greeks here? Okay. Now, this is not about Greece individuals, those of you who have Greek friends. But Greece as a country has been in default on their government debt 50% of the time since independence. Now, if you were a banker that lent to Greece, that mattered. But for the rest of us, whether Greece as a country was in default or not really didn't matter. It now matters because we've connected whether Greece as a country are in default through the euro to the global economy. So if Greece as a country goes into default, an event that actually has happened quite a lot, we're actually in a euro crisis. We've actually just seen the effect of this interconnection. We've had a lot of shocks to the global economy over the last 50 years. But because the global economy was relatively disconnected, we never had a global recession. We have now just had one. And the Lehman shock, the Lehman collapse, and the whole subprime thing wasn't really that big a shock. I mean, it was a big one. But you know, look at the other shocks we've had for the last 50 years. But because we've connected things, a, sm 
a large shock becomes a global shock and we get a global recession. Look at the impact of Ebola. You know, a bug that's pretty nasty, but not the first time we've had a bug like that. It is a much bigger global problem because of the connectivity we've had through travel. So four big forces disrupting the way the world works, disrupting our intuition. The emerging markets, the rise of emerging markets, technology, aging, and connectivity. And that means that much of our intuition about how we have to think about the way the world works could be wrong and we need to reset it.